All right, y'all, this is it. Right inside here, this is my copy of Cyberpunk. And mm -hmm. I am not even going to open it. That's how much willpower I have. Yeah. Although, actually, I can't even say it's willpower. It's more of I am so disappointed with uh, the state of the game. I am not even inclined to open it. I'm like, I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait it. for, it like, day 15 patch. Maybe even the first month. I may even wait after the first full month before I jump into this game. And uh, here, I'm going to share with you guys why what's up y'all it's Joe Master Lee and Lulu all right Lulu so yes today I was crazy excited there's so many amazing announcements that are coming out from uh new trailers new movies stuff like that and also my copy Cyberpunk arrived in the mail so uh -huh. I was like oh you know what babe you're not gonna see me for the next month but <laughs> ew but 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 please but, but. brush your teeth and take a shower. That's all I want. <laughs> Babe, I'm not like the typical gamer. You know me, right? I will at least brush my teeth once a week, right? You know, at least I get a wet towel to rub down the dirty parts. Nobody oh likes crusty oh, Jesus crevices. <laughs> But hey, uh, I don't think you need to worry now because um, word is on the street that um, there are a lot of issues with cyberpunk. And I knew that there were gonna be a lot of bugs when this thing first came out. Um, it honestly, by it looked just from the way I was able to read between the lines and having been a game developer for a long time and having worked on one of those games that was just constantly perpetually in development and a lot of bugs, uh, the Elder Scrolls series was one of the games I used to work on. I knew they were going to run into a lot of problems. And sure enough, there's a huge day one patch. I know you're looking at me like, what the F are you talking about? Patch is a, a fix, like updated software. But mm -hmm. apparently the patch is so big, it's literally the same file size as the game itself. Oh my God. So you're downloading like Whoa. a whole DVD's worth of like fixes because they knew it was like going to be a lot of problems. I am not going to play the game just yet. I'm going to hold out because word is on the street that um, if you play this on the PS4, which is what I was planning to do. I want to play it with the joystick, which is why I decided to offer the PS4 versus uh, the PC. The game looks like a mess. It looks really? freaking Aww. bad. So I knew in the last trailer that we reacted to, yeah, I had this, glitch, like... I, um, it's just in the back of my mind of like, Something feels a little bit off. Right. People were, you know, left and right, we've been asking us, can you please react to more trailers? Can you, you know, give us more cyberpunk reactions? Oh, really? Yeah, because, you know, this is an anticipated game. They like yes. hearing my feedback, you know, having worked in the game industry. But um, one is I didn't want to spoil it any further. Like, I don't want to, like, learn so much about the game that by the time I play it, I, it takes away some of that discovery joy. Um, but second, I didn't want to continue to buy into the hype because I was a little concerned about, like, how the stable the game was. And I have to know, agree with you i it personally if i'm a gamer of this i would wait because i don't want to ruin my experience just just wait yeah Hold it's on. like you watch enough trailers it's fine but i think even in this case playing something on day one today especially big open world games is high risk it's not unheard of where games are so glitchy that uh it ruins your save game for instance i just finished beating Watch Dogs, but i waited almost a month before getting it because yeah i heard like on day one like you know Lots of problems. And now cyberpunk is the same thing. And let me show you like how bad it is. You're going to see just how bad it actually looks really? here. Really? Yeah. Like even I can tell. You that can I'm tell not a like gamer. this like looks like a verifiable mess. Really? Okay. Oh, it's a verifiable, veritable, uh, one of those words. <laughs> yeah. I, it almost feels like I should wait a month before I play the game. Um, wow, that's going to be hard. Um, honestly, it's not. It's not going to be difficult for me. Because mostly YouTubers these days, and right now, we should be cranking out content daily because right. it's the big money-making season. Right. Like, our vacation time is really in January. So if I was to get this game in January, I would be perfectly happy with it. Right. And it's not like... I mean, like, the world's so upside down. It's not like everyone gets, like, three weeks off and, like, I could spend all the time goofing around playing games. Everyone's off. There's, like, nothing to do. So... I find many other things to keep me busy, mm. uh, which is creating content. But right. uh, yeah, I, I can I can wait. I, I'm not. I would rather wait till PlayStation Five version is available for me to get my PlayStation Five mm -hmm. and play it on that rather than ruin this eight year wait. So Damn. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. All right. All right. By the way, if you want some cool commentary, check out my podcast, Draw Master Lee. And if you want some highness, check out my fantasy show on my OnlyFans. All right, and away. Go. Yeah.
Cyberpunk may have sold 8 million copies before launch, but for Ooh, those of you wow. who picked it up for a base PS4 and Xbox One, you might want to lower your expectations in terms of performance. Dollars, half a billion dollars. Those playing on consoles lower than PS4 Pro and Xbox One specs have been reporting pretty major issues with resolution, frame rate, texture pop-in, and more. Now, users across Twitch and social media are documenting the game's lackluster performance on their older machines, showing examples like Slow. this one from um, Twitter Flunky. user Legolas. Now, as you can see from the comparative footage, there's a fairly notable difference between the gameplay originally presented by CD Projekt Red on high-end machines what? and base consoles from last year. Where are the gen. textures? Now, look, there are a lot of arguments floating around the internet that this is a next-gen game, and while Cyberpunk does in fact benefit from next-gen improvements, I'd like to remind you all that this game was originally supposed to launch before the next generation of consoles, and a huge portion of the audience was going to first experience this game on PS4s and Xbox Ones. You know, it also is important to note that footage released of this game was presented for PC, both next-gen consoles and last-generation's mid-tier upgrades, while footage from the base model PS4 and Xbox One were never shown. They were nowhere to be seen, and I kind of wonder why now, huh? I think we all kind of wonder why. Well, while I, I wouldn't why. necessarily expect that Cyberpunk would make graphical compromises in order to run on older console models, the level of fidelity loss here has surprised and disappointed many fans who were anticipating this particular release. Now, users are reporting exceptionally oh long waits for textures to load, blurring effects across the entire screen, Whoa! and the frame rate drops. Terrible. Not to mention prevalent bugs such as T-posing NPCs, which is just funny. That's just funny to oh look at. I actually find that pretty hilarious. <laughs> no mouth heck? movements during conversations and glitching animations. Reports of widespread crashing on PS4 have been prominent as well. Now, it's unclear if these examples are running with the day one patch installed, but Kotaku has reported that they've been unable to download the patch at all. However, we do have base Xbox One footage that has been updated with the patch shown here on the screen that does have moments where textures fail to load and frame rates noticeably drop. Cyberpunk's developer CD Projekt Red hasn't directly commented on the issues, but the Cyberpunk Twitter account did in fact try, and I'm gonna emphasize try, to get ahead of all of this today by saying, quote, we are truly humbled that so many of you trusted us and decided to support <laughs> hashtag Cyberpunk 2077 before the release. Even 8 million thank yous. I think you just have to be positive about it. What can you do? On, work on the upcoming fixes and updates to the game. Yep, so there you go. That's how bad it looks. Right. So that's what, what's happening there. And it, so it looks glitchy. Frame rates are dropping. And that's enough for me to go like, that just feels like nah, a shite yeah, experience. Yeah, I would not play it. And you know, look, I'm not going to side with um, gamers on this. I'm not going to side with the developers. I honestly feel bad for both sides. Like having, you know, worked in the industry for a long time and worked on games this big, there is never a good point to launch because there's just so many, so many bugs. Like if they were to fix all these bugs, I guarantee you, right, it'll be another year. Easily another year year oh and like my. they said even when the witcher 3 came out like i didn't jump on witcher 3 to almost like a year and a half later not because i was waiting for the fixes uh -huh. but because uh at that point i was like i'm not so sure i want to jump back that heavily into games right, right it, it's right. a big game and i think it's sucked in it's an awesome game you even got sucked in you finished it yes it was, i love it game. but i got to play it in a stable uh state and it was fun Right, um, but man, if I was playing a game where it's like constantly, yeah, breaking I think down, I, I think I will have a headache all day, and I will be very pissed. Yeah, it's just like a constant reminder, right? Like this is the part where, I, as a gamer, I'm like, you're constantly reminded, like this shit is broken, and mm. you waited this long for it, right? Right, and so um, just no win all around. It's soul crushing for everybody. It's soul crushing for the gamer. Soul crushing for. Oh my god how wow. can you sleep even yeah i feel bad right now i feel bad for all the people who waited and uh i was ready to uh, like i said i haven't even opened the package 